Happy Friday, guys. A little late here on Coffee Talk, but um, I had an allergy attack last night in the middle of the night and uh, couldn't sleep. And my husband, my wonderful supportive husband, who's looking at me right now, had no idea that I had even left the room. <laughs> Your poor pregnant wife. This is going to be like a Friday morning family coffee talk. Okay, this is. Let me just show you what's going on in my kitchen today. Since Daddy's home, we got some biscuits. I had nothing to do with this. We got a little sausage, right? Everyone's gonna get ready, and then we have this. By the way, we look really organized. Just so we're clear about what's going on, um, my kids are trying this. It's a uh, un our uncle Jocko made it. It's called Warrior Kid. You can get these in strawberry and chocolate and basically it's a protein mix that you can put into your kids milk to make chocolate or strawberry milk but it doesn't have any sugar in it and so if you want to give your child something like that let's ask Trace what he thinks about it get some real life I'm going to put it in our Amazon shop so you're able to grab it if you want to try it hey Trace what did you think of uh, Uncle Jocko's drink mix did you like it you're good okay good <laughs> so if you guys go to amazon.com slash shop slash smarter news we have some products in there that we think like help you live smarter and i'll put this there so you can if you want to try it my kids love chocolate milk they can drink gallons of it so i'm actually glad we're going to try this because you know, they, they, more protein they drink all the chocolate milk and they uh get nothing but sugar so this is uh gets them strong with all the sugar strong look at that wow he should be wearing a t-shirt that was really good lace wow <laughs> these are all these are uh, you know, family business endorsements. So there you go. Okay, we'll keep this quick though today. Um, a couple of things I think you should know just going on in the world. I want to flag for you before the weekend. And if you're watching this a little bit later, you might see some results about what we we're going to talk about. <clears throat> There's a big vote happening in the UK. Today was the day in history that the UK was officially going to separate from the EU, being the first country to ever do that in the history of the EU. But it's not happening <laughs> because of all sorts of reasons. It gets a little complicated politically, but you should know this. You know, uh, what's, what basically the, the UK is trying to do, the UK and the EU, is negotiate a divorce. So imagine two big families trying to get divorced, um, and or like one, one big family trying to get divorced, and there's no terms. And some, some don't want terms. Others do. Um, the argument for terms is that in the, the years after, it'll be more organized on how, how the family should still work together. Um, and for, for others, they're saying, well, we, we don't like the terms of the divorce, so I'd rather have no, no terms than terms I don't like. So what's happening today is there's another vote about the terms of separation. The UK Prime Minister said, if you vote for this, essentially, this is what she said, then I will resign as a, and as an incentive. That's an incentive for people to vote for it because she's been controversial in all of this. Some love her, some don't like her. Kind of like America, right? So that's happening today. It's important to watch. I'll try to keep you updated on the headlines, uh, and, and we'll see. We'll see what takes place. I'm looking at the time right now. We're not too far away from the vote, so it'll be an important day just to watch overseas. In the meantime, something's been happening in Venezuela sort of quietly, and I just want to kind of, again, flag this for you. In Venezuela, the Russian Russians have sent military and military equipment to Venezuela. That's not a good thing. So estimates about 100 troops. The Russians are calling them specialists to help support Nicolas Maduro. The United States doesn't like this, clearly. They don't want Russian support for, in Venezuela for Maduro, who they consider a dictator, who we consider a dictator. Juan Guaido is the opposition leader that we're now recognizing as the rightful leader of Venezuela. Could this come down to a conflict, a military conflict? The hope would be no. The likelihood is no, but it's not a great sign that Russia is doing that uh, because it's, it's meant to shore up Nicolas Maduro at a time when it looks like because of this power outage that's been happening, that's happened in the country and all these other, you know, this desperate humanitarian crisis that the tide could be turning against him uh, leading more to what would hopefully be a democratic elections and a democratically elected leader. So, again, like, no, sub, no, that's going on. I think that's really important. Um, an inspirational story I think you should know about is Rita Moreno. This, you know, she's an amazing artist, dancer, performer, singer. She uh, is going to be recognized as, as a lifetime achievement for the Peabody Award. 
and that makes her, I don't know how to say it, if it's a pigot, <laughs> uh, a pigo, maybe the T is silent, but it's somebody that's won a Peabody, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. And she's one of the only three people in the world that have done that. Barbara Streisand and Mike Nichols have been able to do that. So congratulations to her. We put one of her quotes on the website today, which is pretty extraordinary because, because she talks about um, being a young girl, not speaking any English, going into school, and whether or not she made the decision to sink or swim. So that was... Uh, I, I attached a, a Cosmopolitan article from 2018 to our website. So if you go into our website, smarternews.com, and check out the source page, it's there, and it's a pretty cool read. So if you have time this weekend and you want to read something fun, it's, it's, it's outdated, but it has some great quotes from her about her life, and I really enjoyed reading it, so I hope you do too. So those are some things I think you should know, some really important stories that are happening overseas to watch. You have what's... Um, a great award going to uh, an American woman that's been an incredible performer and contributor to the arts. And then just, I would love your opinion on something. There is, oh, and uh, by the way, we talked about it yesterday. President Trump backed away from cutting Special Olympics funding at the Department of Education. Remember what happens is the president pr presents a proposal to Congress of what kind of cuts he wants to make, what he wants his budget to look like. Then the departments come and say, well, these are the ways that we're going to achieve these cuts or achieve the goals of the president. And so that's when Congress gets involved and says, yes, no, yes, no, we like the way that money is going to be appropriated. I don't know. Mr. Tim is our neighbor. I don't know where he is. We could go find him, though. So um, so that's kind of, I don't want to say it's concluded, but it looks like there's not going to be federal funding cuts for the Special Olympics, as we discussed yesterday. One story I just really want to fly for you very quick, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is a beacon of hope for many women, uh, including me, who sometimes need a place to bring my kids for lunch to let them play. Chick-fil-A is also a company that stands for Christian values that closes on Sundays um, because of, of a belief system that helps guide the company. The Texas Attorney General is has opened an investigation into the San Antonio City Council that prevented a Chick-fil-A from going into the new airport or the airport in San Antonio. And they did that because they said, basically, it was a value call, saying, well, we don't necessarily agree with this company. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Um, so the Attorney General says, this, this is a violation of the First Amendment. We're going to investigate you. And I'm curious if you'd like to know more about that story. That's in quick quotes. We just did a quick snippet today. But if you like a little deeper dig, it's kind of an interesting story about the First Amendment, how it should be applied. And also, there's a, I think there's a lot of assumptions made about uh, what Chick-fil-A has said or hasn't said in the past about different controversial issues, including traditional marriage. So if you'd like more of that, I'd love to hear if you, if you do. And we could create something for you next week, along with a couple other stories we're working on, which is healthcare a great other health study, and uh, please, too, send us anything you'd like more on. By the way, sign up for our newsletter, too, if you just go to Smarter News. We'll have one out for you on, uh, on Saturday morning for your coffee when we don't get to see each other, although I do miss you. All right. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> okay, guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for uh, all your support and love for Smarter News. We love you right back, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.